All right, guys, so we're going to put this one, this chicken wire here. So the hens won't pass. So guys, <laughs> the weather is so crazy, huh? <laughs> now we have a wonderful weather again. So in spring, normally, we have four seasons in one day. <laughs> Now we have sun! I have to go and see the baby goat, guys. Oi! Everest wants to come in. No, girls, guys. All right, guys. So we found the baby goat. He was in the tank deposit, guys, of our diesel. Yeah. Luckily, my husband found him. All right, guys. So, ah, uh, katatapos lang namin. Wait, I have to take this out. <laughs> so, ayan, better. So, katatapos lang namin, guys. Um, ayusin itong fence. I mean, this wire, chicken wire. Para sa ganun. Para sa ganun, guys. Yung mga manok hindi na sila maka maka lusot dito sa mga uh, square na ganito. Yes. At saka, isa pa, hindi na rin mailagay ni Jupiter yung ulo niya, guys. Kasi, marami kasing grass, as you can see. Inapakapakan ko yun. Kaya, naging ganyan. Kaya, guys, si Jupiter, yung may, yung very athletic goat. Um, as in kasi na she is very thin and her head is thin and long uh, and she has horns and then when she tries to take it out yung horns niya guys ma na ano siya dito na hindi niya matanggal so ayun one day maghapon siya guys na na naka ganun dito hindi niya matanggal yung ulo niya yes so can you see guys yung nasa taas at saka sa baba, much better, right? Wash your hands, anak! Ahora te acompaño un momento. Aquí también, cariño, porque fue pancha. Sí. ¿No? Puts.
Puts fer que no m'has dit res. Ai, guapo. Puts fer que carinyo la teva mà cap aquí a dalt. Eh? Aquí sí. Molt més fàcil. Més fàcil, sí. Ah, sí, és veritat que t'has caigut aquí, sí. Ai, pobreta. Però clar... Però això ha anat... No, però qui no juga no cau. So, ayan, guys, tapos na, finally. Wash her hands, then. Huh? Itong isa, guys, itong isa, mas malaki konti yung holes niya kesa dito. Can you see? This one, it has very small holes. And this one has bigger holes. Pero okay lang. Because the most important is the hands cannot pass to the other side. And also, this is Jupiter, guys. This is Jupiter. As you can... Ah, no. That's, that's Blau. That's Blau. That is Jupiter. Hi, Jupiter. This one, the black and slender. And the brown one is Alpina with the baby. <laughs> so ayan as you can see hi jupi come ayan guys ayan as you can see she's thin and also she's adventurous and ayan nga. <laughs> can you see she's the only one doing like that guys she's very naughty the rest they are all eating the grass that i gave them And guys, I have, oh my gosh, I have some of these zinnias here and I want to plant in here this line, this line guys, yes, here, that side, as in I gusto kong maraming flowers guys, yeah, because uh, better and beautiful for the eyes and also uh, they are they attract pollinators that's why guys I love flowers and these pollinators help us pollinate our plants and guys this is long planter guys and that is cemented dati may, may tanim siya dito guys kaso nga lang yung mga goats kinain nilang lahat so wala na and we also had um fig here this one this this is the 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 trunk or the base ayan so kinain din nilang lahat and now that this is space is available and i am going to plant some of my zinnias here as well and in here yeah I want to see flowers everywhere in here guys. Ngayon na hindi na makapasok yung mga chickens and also our goats and sheep. So guys, for the meantime, hanggang dito pa lang yung nalinisan ko. So this were two raised beds also here guys. Kaya makita nyo siguro yung shape nyan at saka the other one. Yes, yeah, so na mahaba until here. Yes, until this side. Yeah. Kita nyo naman siguro yan. Yan, line na yan. Yeah. And here. And, yeah, that one. Until there. Then here, until... Until there at the end. And then this one is a space between the two beds. So... Uh, as in na maganda guys yung soil kasi nga yung mga manure ng hens and our sheep and goats ay marami so as in na super ganda and the soil is fertile yeah so yeah I'm so happy so hanggang dyan pa lang guys ang nalilinis ko and marami pa tayong linisan hanggang doon yes dyan here at saka dyan
Okay guys, so hanggang dito na lang ang ating video. Uh, so bye-bayan nyo kami guys kung paano natin i-transform itong <laughs> small space for our vegetable garden guys. Yes, and I have onions that are waiting for me to be planted. Yes, so I think I'm going to plant there guys. Doon ko itanim yun yung mga onions kasi yun na yung medyo um, malinis at saka isa pa yun yung maraming manure kasi nilagyan ko last year no last year, two years ago and then my husband put I don't know how many loads of animals manure so maganda talaga doon kaya doon natin itanim yung ating mga onions at saka isa pa guys it's sunny that side kaya maganda kasi onions love sunshine guys kaya doon natin itanim and then my plan is to uh, plant my um, corn I'm going to plant the corn directly guys dito sa side na ito uh, malapit sa fence dito hanggang dito yes mga dalawang rows mga dalawang rows siguro two or three basta we love corns as well guys and then um of course my ampalayas guys where will i find my ampalayas around here as well and i'm going to put trellis for my ampalaya and of course i'm going to plant also around here yung mga butternut squash natin here guys this side at the end this side kasi gusto kong gumawa guys ng parang trellis pataas <laughs> ganun yes para aakyat dyan sila yung ating mga uh, kalabasa and also because I have two types of kalabasa one is butternut squash and one is kalabasa dulce yeah kalabasa dulce or the sweet um the sweet pumpkin just like what we have guys in the philippines yun 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 i love that one guys and of course our zucchinis i i saw also two types of zucchinis i'm not sure if two types but the green one i yeah i saw the green one and also i'm going to plant the white one guys and yun nga gusto ko ding ano may nakita kong video na um, nilagay niya sa trellis guys yung zucchini at maganda siya yes and maybe some of my squash yung ano yung kalabasa dulce so we are going to put in here guys here tapos may ano din kasi doon may space doon so doon natin ilagay guys and maybe I'm also going to put some like trellis between the two fence. Itong fence na ito at saka dito sa chicken coop natin. Yes, ganon. So, yun ang ating gagawin. And then, I am thinking where will I plant my bitter gourd or ampalaya gourd? Maybe around here as well. Maybe dito, straight until here. Here guys. Siguro. Yeah. Or. <laughs> or dito sa gitna. Ewan ko lang guys. Basta. Ang importante maitanim natin ng ating mga vegetables. And I am so excited guys. For this season. Uh, for this gardening season. And I also want to plant. Um, yung ano guys. Uh, long bean. Yes, yeah, so this time I'm going to plant marami din para mas marami tayong aanihin kasi last year ilan lang yung itinanim ko tapos hindi ko pa inilagay sa trellis kaya <laughs> kaya ang resulta konti lang talaga yung na harvest ko so uh, that is a lesson learned and I also want to have lots of green beans yung french green beans yun because we love that french green beans tomatoes ano pa um battle gourd we love battle gourd as well 
masarap igisa sa sardinas at saka miswa. <laughs> Kaya ganun guys. And also, um, anong tawag nito? I really miss yung ano guys, yung lufa gourd. Sana nga, I sold lufa gourd. Kaso nga lang, hindi ko alam. I'm not sure if the lufa gourd seeds germinated. I'm not sure how I wish I have this lufa gourd. Yeah. Ano pa? So, yun nga guys, ang ating mga um, mga itanim. Ano pa? And of course, lots of tomatoes. Because we love tomatoes. Peppers, eggplants. So, yun ang ating mga itanim guys. Kalabasa! <laughs> <laughs> Pang pakbet, as in a, we are Filipino. My husband loves pakbet as well. It is one of his favorite dish, Filipino dish. Mm -hmm. Ano pa? Ano pa? And yung chili, guys. Chili. Chili. Yung. Yeah, peppers. Different kinds of peppers. And also, yung Tabasco chili natin. And, um, yung red long hot peppers because i'm going to use that also for pak bed and also pak siu and also um for the marmalade that i made guys and it was so good really good yeah so ano pa so ayun nga guys <laughs> so i-update ko na lang kayo guys kung ano ano ang mga nangyayari dito sa ating um ating garden so my husband and I were talking um er, were talking earlier guys and pinag-usapan nga namin kung i-maintain ko din yung isang uh, garden ko yung vegetable garden last year at saka kung saan ko itinanim yung mga garlics natin yun i am thinking if it is i'm going to um plant something in there as well and to maintain to uh vegetable garden i think it's quite a lot of work yes and yeah um kaya ang iniisip namin baka ito na lang yung i-maintain namin Kasi nga, pag yung mga goats and sheep, they go and graze, they can go and eat also the vegetables that I, I'm going to plant in there. Kaya, sabi ng asawa ko, dito na lang sa banda dito ang vegetable garden namin. Ngayon, na wala na yung mga um, hands, doon na sila nakatira kasama ang mga goats. Kaya, uh, at least makaka hinga na rin ako at saka less is stress and less work as well Cause, <laughs> less work as well so ayun I'm happy na dito na lang talaga i-maintain guys yeah so dito na lang talaga tayo mag garden yes total meron din naman tayong silong din dito kaya um okay lang and what else our dog is here, Everest. Ebi! Ebi! Ebi, Osa! Ebi! Ebi, say hi, Ebi! Guapa! So, guys, si Everest, may nakita siyang rat dito kanina. Jaan sa my hole ng jaan. And then they traveled, or no. And then this rat traveled here until that and then pumunta siya guys sa kabila doon sa mga kambing pumunta siya kasi this this tube guys is um is connected until there kasi noong unang panahon <laughs> uh, ano pa guys uh, sa kanal direct na kasi yung kanal dito noon. So, kung mag-irrigate sila as ina basang-basa as ina parang taniman ng palay guys na basang-basa lahat. Ganon. Ngayon na we have irrigation and we have better kind of irrigation system. Yes. Kaya hindi na yan ginagamit. Pero, uh, yun nga as ina ano siya guys na malinis sa loob 
Yeah. So, ganon guys, yung ano, yung old na watering system nila. Ganyan. Tapos, may butas siya dyan. Nakita nyo naman siguro and the other side. So, dyan lumalabas yung tubig. Kaya, pinapatubigan nilang lahat dito. And the whole, yung front yard. Yes. Yeah, pero ngayon na naiba na yung irrigation system, kaya mas okay na siya, guys. Sayang talaga yung ano namin, guys, yung plum trees namin. Buti na nga lang hindi namatay itong fig. Kinain na rin ng mga kambing, guys, yung yung trunk niya. As in, kasi once na makain na nila lahat yung trunk niya, guys, hindi na maka makaakyat yung um, parang food or yung tubig ng o sabia ang tawag nila doon dito yung, yung plant kaya mamamatay siya buti nilang, buti na lang guys hindi nila as in na pinalibutan na kinain lahat I'm not sure kung hindi nila pinalibutan parang napalibutan kaso nga lang uh, fig is a very strong tree so Ayun, I'm so thankful talaga guys na ganun nga. Yes, yeah, so um, they cut this. They cut these two trees. And then we are going to cut this ones as well into small pieces para may gagamitin tayong mag ano guys, mag mag barbecue ganun or mag bonfire ganun. Ganun. Ebi wala na, umalis na yung aso and our <laughs> goats and sheep okay naman sila guys ayan <laughs> thank you so much guys for being with us today please like this video, subscribe if you haven't yet, mag subscribe kayo guys, para makita nyo kung paano natin i-transform itong uh, part na to guys yes, and uh, Yeah, marami pa pala akong gustong itanim like melon, cucumber, <laughs> watermelon, ano pa, uh, sitaw na short. Oh my gosh, my gosh. And I have maybe 500 plus or 500, yeah, more than maybe 800 pieces of onions. So I'm going to have lots of space. I'm very happy guys for our onions last year kasi nga as in na hindi na talaga ako bumili guys ng onions kaya I am so so happy <laughs> kaya this year I'm going to plant lots of onions again and hopefully our garlics will have big bulbs para as in na uh, will have big heads para as in na marami tayong ma-harvest and, and I hope it will last for a year as well yeah hmm ano pa and herbs of course herbs <laughs> as in guys na marami akong gustong itanim kasi nga we only have 6 months to yes to plant guys to plant to harvest and I really want to preserve lots of food guys For us to have, especially in winter, hmm. frozen zucchinis. Kasi yung zucchinis ko last year, guys, were so prolific. Kaya every now and then, in a harvest, ko sila I chop into different sizes and then I put in a ziploc bag and then I put into our deep freezer. So every time na gusto namin kumain ng um ng anong tawag nito um, zucchini cream I take out and also nga pala may uh, frozen ampalaya din pala ako guys so yun din ang ginagamit namin minsan uh, minsan nagluluto nga ako ng ano guys ng pakbet <laughs> yes kasi may uh, zucchini may um, may ampalaya din so ayun sold na and what else ano pa ba oh, oh my gosh yung sweet potato ko guys hindi pa pala ako nakapag ano nakapagpatubo this time hindi ako nagpatubo guys ng ano ng sweet potato sayang no pero I will directly plant some of those guys 
Yeah, so ganun nga ang gawin ko. I will, kahit na wala pa siyang slips, um, ano ko na rin guys, uh, itanim ko na yung whole, uh, yung whole na sweet potatoes. Para sa ganun, meron din tayong, of course, sweet potato leaves for sinigang, for salad. Uh, ang sarap guys, really. Ano pa ba? Yeah, so, i-update ko na lang kayo guys. Okay, so, uh, sige na nga. Bye-bye na nga. <laughs> And hope to see you again very soon. Bye!